Okay, let's talk about arm weight. This can be actually a very difficult topic because when young students, or well, any age student really, is in here in the studio, I, I hear comments sometimes, oh, I feel like I'm about to break my cello, or I, I'm putting all the arm weight I possibly can into the instrument. And this can be a really abstract idea that is hard to wrap your head around, especially if you're struggling to get enough arm weight into the instrument. Now, if you were here in the studio in person, we would do all sorts of things like listening to the tone, and I would give you feedback, and we would do the, the cello handshake, and you know, I'd let your arm rest in my hand, and uh, we would you know, feel that dead weight of the arm and just teaching you to physically be heavy over here on the right hand side. Since we are not in person together, we are across the digital divide here, and uh, you're trying to attain this skill through the video, and I wanna help you do that as much as possible, we're gonna use a decibel meter, okay? Now, if you're following along and using the decibel meter, I'm actually uh, using here this free app. There's probably lots of decibel meters. This is the one I've used forever. It's Decibel X, it's still in the app store. There's of course a paid version, uh, but there's also a free version. And this is the free version right here because I believe it says upgrade, yeah, on the screen. So this is the free one. Um, and I have both, I think I have the paid one, but anyway. Hello, future me here with an important insert. There is something extremely important that you must keep in mind when using the decibel meter to help your arm weight. It's really helpful. I hope that you'll use it, but you must keep this one thing in mind, but it will make more sense a little bit later in the video and I will explain it to you in detail. So please stay tuned for that. So if you're following along, here are some parameters uh, to attempt to make this a little more uh, scientific and a little more helpful to you uh, as you're watching and following along. And I'll explain in a minute why all this is necessary. So I actually measured, okay, the phone is sitting over there on my stand. You're watching it here on the screen. So the phone is about, uh, the, the, the lip of the stand is about 30 inches off the ground, okay? And then the iPhone is leaning, and it's it's straight in front of me. I guess it's right here in front of my uh, right hand f hole here. Um, but it's straight in front of me. Stand lip is about thirty inches off the ground. I have the microphones up, okay, so they're not muffled by the stand. And so the iPhone's like what around five or so inches, and so the actual microphones are maybe thirty five inches, thirty four inches, okay, uh, above the ground. Again, I'm going to explain why this is important. And I also measured the distance from me to the phone. So my chair, the middle of my chair here, my bench, is about four feet, okay, if you're trying to set this up here. Oh, and also I have an iPhone 14 Pro, just so you know uh, what kind of phone I'm using here with this app. And then also, so then I also measured once I got the cello actually in my hand and kind of best I could here with the with the ruler here on the floor, um, the actual cello is about 25 or 26 inches, okay, roughly a couple of feet there to, you know, going diagonal uh, to the phone itself, okay. Now, why all the measurements? What's the, what's the point of this? The decibel meter is very sensitive, okay. And so when we're doing this exercise here in a second, there's, there's a whole lot of difference in the sound um, with just a very few decibel actual numbers. And I'm going to be quiet here just to prove this point. I'm going to show you what silence looks like here and just a quiet room. See, it's not zero. All right. And as soon as I start talking, you see it jumps up to like, you know, 50s, 60s. All right. Just the hum of the computer it, it, with nothing going on is like 27, 28. Okay. So let's play a little bit. That's what I call, you know, maybe maybe a mezzo piano, all right? Um, not a lot of arm weight, just playing kind of quietly, and it's around 70 something, low 70s. Now let's add a little bit of arm weight. Let's start to really try to get it mezzo forte here. So you see the difference between mezzo piano and mezzo forte is only four, okay, maybe max five decibels or so, okay, and then what happens if we try to get uh, to forte here, so, 
some clear difference, a little more clear difference than I was expecting. So that's good. Okay, so around 80, okay, for fortissimo, I mean forte. And let's try to really crank out some fortissimo here. <laughs> down near the frog there I can get it up to 85 or 87 how about one more time boy you can, it's really revealing all right it really dips down when I get to the upper half yes of the bow how about on the G here yeah the low the lower sounds really carry all right so I can definitely get up there I wonder if I could just get it to 90 uh, maybe if I play on two strings hard to get it to 90. 90 would be very, 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 very loud. Okay, so with my most arm weight here, I'm able to get it up. It's like bouncing maybe against 87 on the D string. Okay, and then on the G. But between 83, 85, somewhere in there is my fortissimo. Now what about my pianissimo? string or say let's play the swan pianissimo how about piano So you see, when you play an actual piece, it really bounces around quite a bit. Yes, okay. And so this is why using the de decibel meter is a little tricky, but actually on the open strings, I think it's okay, all right? So hopefully you can use this as a guide to let you know if you're really getting enough arm weight, if you're really getting a true forte, that here's piano and you probably really need a quiet room because notice that as soon as I say anything on top of the playing it changes way too much it changes a lot yes So what is so important to remember when using the decibel meter? Because the decibel meter is really great to use, but it can also lead to some bad habits. If you're just forcing your arm into the bow, forcing, forcing the bow into the string and just making a loud sound without proper form, without proper technique, this is really bad. Remember the decibel meter, I like to say, is a stethoscope just like the metronome, just like the drone pitch, like any tool we use, it's a stethoscope, but you are the doctor, right? A stethoscope just tells the doctor what's going on. Doctor has to make a diagnosis and a plan for the treatment, right? So the decibel meter is there just to help you realize a certain volume of sound, a certain loudness, because you're not making enough sound. Once you have that volume, you have that sense of how loud the cello needs to be in your ears, it is then your job to recreate that level of sound, that level of volume, with the proper technique, with proper bow hold, with the proper arm weight, without squeezing in on your bow hand, without pressing in or muscling it. Use the arm weight. Use a decibel meter to help you realize how much sound you need to make, but then you need to use all of those other tools, like I just said, all right? proper form, proper technique, okay, because just making that sound with a bad bow hold or, you know, making the the level of volume with a bad uh, bow arm or just bad technique in general, that is not what we want. That is not the end goal. That will not accomplish anything, okay, but please use the decibel meter. It will help you. It will help you realize how much sound you need to make, but then it's your job to go back and do it the correct way. 
All right, a couple of points here before I leave you. One is you want to make sure that you're maintaining a nice, relaxed hand that we're not squeezing on the bow. Remember, we never want to think of pressure. Okay, and this is so hard to not use this word because, I mean, we are putting pressure. It is pressure. I mean, that is the word for it, coming from our arm into the bow. But we don't, what we say in cello playing when we're learning is that we don't want to be pressing in with our hand, right? We want the arm to be heavy and we want to transfer that weight into our hand, which is the really hard abstract thing, especially um, since we're not together in person. But use, uh, use the decibel meter, try it out. Please, I would, I've never made a video like this before. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Was it helpful? Was it revealing to you? Um, do you feel just completely illuminated or are you like, what in the world? Why did I just try that? Um, so let me know. I've used it with a few students, so I thought I would share it with you guys here. If you're coming over from the rosin video and you feel like your arm weight is all squared away, uh, your bow hair is all squared away, and you're ready and you want to know what kind of rosin I use and why, you can watch that video right here.